So welcome to another video. Um, I'm back again at Top Pool. So yeah, um, this is my third session. First session, if you've seen the video, I don't know. I had um, a couple of cats um, during the day and then I come back again the week after for a day session on a Saturday, but blanked. I, um, it was red hot and burnt to death. So yeah, it was too hot. I ended up packing up early. It was that warm and bright, I thought. Got no chance of catching a cat or a carp. I tried zigs and everything, but yeah, nothing nothing happened. So I cut my losses and only, it was only a day session. I wasn't, um, I wasn't too gutted, but yeah. So this is my third session now. And um, I'm, just gonna, I'm just doing an overnighter. I've literally just got in about about 10 minutes ago so I'm just going to set my rods up so this is the setup that I'm using it's very very basic it's basically what what I use for my pike fishing just uh, my main line um, rum ring lead on it obviously and then um, quick change swivel on the end with the buffer bead to stop it pulling through and then on the business end I'm using just a combi ring combi combi ring combi link combi rig um, yeah, some fluorocarbon and a supple bit with some um, tungsten putty to hold it down. I won't be using corn, I'm going to be using um, a boilie of some sort. I've got a force with me and I've got um, some sticky krill. So I'll be putting one of them on and then an, obviously an anti tangle sleeve there at that end. So that's what I'm using today. Very basic. Um, yeah, um, set up running running style and free running on my rods as well so have my bail arm open so that's basically what I'm using well let's see if I can put it into practice so you've just seen me rigs that I'm fishing um, just fishing the old running rigs today for the cats um, yeah I've got I'm fishing one straight head straight out in front of me um, just less than half wave like the like last time but I'm on the opposite bank this time and then my right arm rod is just fishing to the island so um, see if we can um, nick a fish that's patrolling round. So I have got boilies on, so I, I, there is a chance of a carp. But um, I'm after the carps really today. That's why I'm fishing running rigs. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. So where we go? Fishing for an hour. Just chilling in my bivy, and um, the right arm rod ripped, ripped off. Um, and a nice little pristine common. I knew it wasn't a cat as soon as he hit it, it didn't have enough fight in it. So, uh, yeah, but what a little start this is for an hour's fishing. There we go. Oh, just off the island there. <laughs> Belter. Wasn't expecting a carp today, don't know in a why, but just wasn't. So, um, first carp I've had out of here to be honest but yeah little cracker I'm going to be Roger just beeping stopped so yeah nice little um, nice little one to start the sesh so yeah did better than they did last Saturday anyway already so just had it resting for a min so what a little cracking way to start the session just hope for a bigger carp or a nice big cat. Preferably a big cat I'm after. But yeah. It's only single figures I reckon, only about seven pounds, but who cares? Right, let's get it back, see if we can get a, another one or a bigger one. It's just coming up to half past nine now. Absolutely nothing's happened apart from the right hand rod getting absolutely mullered by the ducks. Um, I think they've wiped me out, to be honest. I didn't put a great deal in. Only put like, well, only put a few handfuls in, but they've wiped me out. So I'm gonna wait till it goes dark. And then, as I said, I brought my boat. 
So I'm not going to redo my rods, I'm just going to um, just ride over the top of it and just drop a um, couple of handfuls of bait over the top. So on my left one, um, I'm staying with what I've got on. I've got um, bloodworm, sticky bloodworm, and on my right one I've got the A-Force. So, um, A-Force boily. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with one each and see what happens. Uh, just going a bit. Lights going down, I reckon um, bite time in an hour, half an hour onwards and then probably till about one in the morning and then usually it's first light if anything. So let's see how we get on. I really need a cat. I want a cat. Yes, get in, get in. Quarter past eleven, my rods just peeled off. I might have got it, I might have got the take on camera, I'm not sure. Rods peeled off, I've um, struck into it and I've um, only gone and bagged myself and a cat. Ah, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'll um, I'll show you it now. I've done it this way around because of um because I'm now excited I forgot to turn the external mic on so the sounds crap on the um when I'm showing you the fish. I've let the fish go now, like an idiot, but anyway, so yeah, I'll show you the fish now. So there she is, what an absolute clonker, oh, I'm absolutely made up with this, can't believe, can't tell you how happy I am now, so I've, um, yeah, beat me PB by £10, um, this, this catfish is 34.2. So yeah, in the 30s club now with the catfish. Uh, so yeah, absolutely, it absolutely tore off and then and then it's pulled me around the lake. What a fight, what an absolute fight. That's one of my um, targets for the year done to get a PB cat, but yeah. Absolutely made up with this. So there you go, enough said. I'm made up. I've probably said that about 18, 18 times on the video. But yeah, I'm glad I brought that other coat to put on to get a full slime. So I'm going to make a brew now anyway. Um, yeah, I need some. I need something to just calm me down for half an hour before I go to bed. It's about, I think it's about quarter to twelve now or something like that. But I need to. I need to calm down a minute. So I'm gonna have a brew, relax, and then I can't see me getting another one now. But so I'll probably end up seeing you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, catch you tomorrow or later. morning um, as you can tell absolutely nothing happened last night after I went to bed nothing at all didn't get a bleep or run or anything but uh, happy gotta be happy with the cat he had so yeah it's good being a been a good session but yeah nothing nothing since not not even a nibble so um, it's about half eight now and I need to start backing up because I've got to be off before ten. So I'm just gonna pack. I'm just well. I'm just gonna have this brew, and then I'm gonna pack my stuff up and um, get home. So um, thanks for watching, and I might be on here again next time. I don't know. I've not got the overstamp, so like I'm a bit limited. So I'll probably be on here again and um, see if I nick myself another cat. Get into this cat fishing at the moment. Um, it was always my plan was to do a bit of catfishing until the overstamp 
Vale's kicks in and then I was going to start going to Rhinel or something or Linvale. I've not even been Linvale since the um, new pegs have been done. So I don't even know what it looks like. And then after that I might have a go for Nunsmere for the pike. I might try there. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. See, how, see how things pan out. I wouldn't mind having a go look at Catchpenny. I've still not even been there either so there's, there's a few options. But well, I do like the booking system now, it gives you a chance to get on some waters like Rhino, which I never used to bother in case they were full, but yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you next time, probably on here. See ya.